Hi, this is Lorena and I wanted to do a tutorial on my Father of Lights quilt. I want to show you what the quilt looks like without any quilting. Um, this is wedding satin and I think I use lame in the center and it's all embroidered, the lettering and the side panels. I did satin stitch it and this is what it looks like quilted. I'm still working on it. I still need to finish the binding or stitch the binding, but it's been an act of love for the last five years. Now this is a side panel and this is some of the quilting that I was working on um, and that color swirl it is um, embroidered and I use metallic thread to embroider the father of lights and I embroidered each single letter um, on its own in each hoop. I want to talk about this pillow because this pillow is what creates the control for you to be able to do that small micro quilting and intricate. You tuck it on the, your top belt, your top bar, and you tuck, roll it in a little bit, and then you have more control. And here I am. I'm going to show how I started quilting this quilt. I'm using my micro handles, and let me share the stitches that I used. I used so fine thread. Um, the my stitch length is 14 to 15, and I used Essentials Connection Thread. They have a long arm quilting line uh, spools now, and I use pure white. And so here I am quilting on this machine and you could see on the very top of the screen and you'll see it in a minute when I come back where that pillow comes into play, how it's tucked into that bar. Then what it does, it creates a drag and that drag creates control because I noticed I had a big issue where my machine was flowed too easily. I know that's kind of dumb because you do want it to flow, but when you're doing this kind of work, you really want to have that kind of drag. So you have control of your machine when you're quilting. Now let me say this. I started my YouTube video because I was afraid of my machine and I would not touch it. And I learned that if I got on my machine, uh, I believe twice a week for 30 minutes and that's it, just to practice something, fills, pebbles, uh, seashells, triangles, anything, I noticed those 30 minutes would really help me become a better um, quilter. I have a Statler stitcher and so one of the limits or issues of that, you get afraid of the machine and you don't want to do your own work because the machine does it for you. And so what I did is I started a YouTube video to document what my practice would do, how it would change, how it would grow. And so I have since 2008, you can see from the very first video that I posted where I could not even do a pebble to now where I'm able to do these beautiful feathers and swirls and have a lot of control of the machine. The things that matter are when you're sitting, you find your favorite position. I found that I really liked the micro handles when I got them because I was sitting and I had more control. I was closer to the machine. A lot of people quilt with the upper bars, which I had a hard time doing, especially when my neck was bending down, looking down so much. And so I really do think these micro handles are worth getting. Um, they are a little pricey. I think they're like $200, especially, I don't know what other systems cost, but I know for Gamel they cost that much. And so here I am going to show you what the top looks like quilted. And I think um, satin quilts beautifully. The only thing is, is if you screw up on satin, it's hard to unstitch it because it creates all that per the puncturing from the needle. And here I am showing you different views of the feathers and how I stitch in between the lettering. Um, and I'm going to go here. I love those feathers. And these are just you know, as I went through the quilt, I changed it up a little bit and changed the feathers. And then I found that I liked some of them. And this is what I did inside the, the embroidery. And I'm going to go to two more views. This is what the center looks like. I did pebbles in the center. And um, I also quilted all the way across. I really do hope you like this tutorial. And I hope you subscribe. And if you like it, hit like.